Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So it's been forever since I actually got a like a anyone send me an email for for Monster Spotlight. It's been it's been a really really long time. Um, I definitely do want to encourage that in the future if you guys are interested in sending sending me um, monsters to to do do spotlight videos on. I'm not sure where I could use this. I, I think I might be able to use it for B10 if he's tanky enough. Today we'll be taking a look at Andrew's uh, Light Shiva. And he has built it with, I think, full HP on this one. Yeah, this is Gem of Life, Gem of Life, Gem of Life, full HP. So uh, he's, he's a pretty strong HP aggressor, and he also has Battle Rush, which basically heals himself. And... Um, yeah, he's basically an HP aggressor, so if you have him with really, really high HP, and he's also, like, the Battle Rush is basically a morale boost plus the SP gain all in one. Um, so he's going to be spamming his second skill a lot, as well as healing himself quite a lot as well. So I'm not exactly sure if, if I make him the only light monster, if he's going to survive B10. If it doesn't, we'll just pretend this video never happened, alright? Um, I'll be safe and I'll put in one more healer, alright? Uh, actually, wait, no. But I do need an armor breaker if I want to see his damage. Alright, I guess I'll, I'll go with this. It should be safe, right? It should be safe to do this. Alright, alright. We're gonna... I don't think his damage is the main selling point anyways. So we're gonna see if, uh, if he's able to do B10. So we're gonna... We're just gonna go in and try this out. I'm probably gonna turn off the auto just so I can I can just test his damage. All right, so this is this is his damage um, without armor break. I was like three hits of like three thousand. I think he's only evil one, so he's not. Um, he's definitely not at his, his his full potential yet. Also, I probably should have worked on the worked on the moon flowers first. Oh shit, this is bad. All right, hopefully these two crit, finish and outright kill this one. But the good thing about the Shiva is he does have Battle Rush, so he's going to be healing himself quite a lot. And I do have another healer, although it's a it's another it's a passive healer, so it's not it's definitely not going to work that well. Um, I probably should have brought my Cupid instead. Okay, I definitely should have brought my Cupid instead. All right, nice, it's done. Let's hope that we can kill this one. All right, since I since I killed it, I'm gonna attack this with Battle Rush. All right, all right, we finally have his nuke. I'm gonna use it next turn when we actually get into the next map. Um, I'm just gonna try to stun, keep our stun again, and then we'll I guess we'll finish this guy off so I don't take any more damage. All right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna see how much damage he can do with his AOE. This is a HP aggression aggressor like AOE. So let's let's see how how much damage this actually does. Ah shit! I should have slowed it down. I was at two times. It was like four or five hits. It was around like four to five thousand damage, but I don't know how many hits. I think it was it was really too fast. It was like maybe maybe um maybe four or five hits of that. I'm just gonna nuke him with my C star, and also nuke him with my July to finish it off. Should be able to kill them pretty easy. Hmm, I wonder how this B survived. All right, all right. Next turn, I'm gonna do an AOE nuke. Yeah, I'm gonna attack him with my July just so he can heal a little bit more, cause he is the only light monster here, so he's at a disadvantage. All right, now, now, now the moment of truth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my AOE nuke on my Arthur, um, so I can armor break, and then we can see how much damage this actually does on armor break. All right, see so if this, this, this straight out kills the Moonflower. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to. Actually, fairly certain it, it will. I slowed it to one time, but I, I still can see it was around like seven thousand damage, but I think it was like four or five hits of it. Um. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Like HP aggression is kind of not that good in in this game. Like it's it just it really doesn't heal as much as as it should. 
but he's a really good monster because he has that nice morale boost plus um, adrenaline. It's like a morale boost adrenaline all in one, you know, so it's it's really cool. I wonder if we should kill the thing on the side. I actually have no idea how to how I should do this. Do the AoE, and then I think I can kill this this thing with my Shiva. Or not my Shiva, but his Shiva. Alright, we'll see how much damage he actually does on the boss. I'll slow it to one times. Nice, I landed the armor break. Alright. Alright, moment of truth. I think the problem is he's only evil 1 or 2, um, so he doesn't do that many hits, but if he's evil 3, he's going to do like one extra hit, which actually really does increase his damage quite a lot. Alright, alright, he almost has his nuke again. I'm probably just going to kill the thing on the side of my AoEs. We have one more turn where we can do the AoE um, armor break nuke on the boss. I mean, he isn't exactly a damage dealer. But he does still do some pretty nice damage. Like, as a, as a HP aggressor. Alright, we should probably finish this thing on the side off. Just so it stops bothering us. Oh shit, I was, I was supposed to armor break. That, that fucked up. Please, Arthur, don't die. Alright, Arthur's dead. Rip, Arthur's dead. Alright, let's finish this thing on the side so it stops, like, removing my buffs and stuff. Actually, wait, I have no buffs to, to remove. I actually don't have any buffs to remove. But he's gonna have a lot of trouble killing killing the Shiva because he is a he he's like really high HP and he's also really really um He he keeps healing basically. Like he has really really good regeneration. I'm not sure if I don't use my first skill if I'll be able to survive. But I think once I get him to like 25%, I'll be able to to go full auto. Alright, might as well use my nuke for one turn, because he's not actually doing that much damage to me. And I should be able to finish off, finish off the golem with an auto at 25%. You, I think you definitely do need more light monsters if you want to use them for B10. Um, I, I'm not, I wasn't sure where... <laughs> Where to show, actually showcase him, but I, I thought B10 was a pretty good idea because I mean I could do I can do B10 pretty stable and we're we're manualing anyways, so it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. We're manualing to see um, how much damage you could do. But to be perfectly honest, HP aggress aggressors are so much weaker than defense aggressors. It's just the scaling, like there's something off about it. Man. All right, so that's um, yep, that was the end of it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you if you guys want me to spotlight your monster, send me an email with your in-game name, and maybe a little bit about your monster and what you're what you're you're doing. Um, I'll be sure to be. I think I think now I'll make it like so. You know, be sure to include your name like in the, in the title and everything, just so just so you can. It, it's like a it's like a community thing, alright? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.